hi guys welcome back to another video my name is gifty if you're new here i do videos on grad school and a little bit of natural hair content please do look around and stay join the family you are welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for staying and being part of the family so today we are going to get a little bit more personal i want to take us all through a little bit of my my journey all the way to youtube now and some of the interests that i've had the career you know part that i wanted to take and all that you know just fun thing so without further ado let's delve right into this video So, you know, as a child, we all have dreams of becoming some person in the future. I really wanted to be a lawyer. At a very young age, I wanted to be a lawyer, be the voice, you know, for the voiceless, speak for people, defend people. But, you know, all the way until secondary school, I wanted to be a lawyer. Until I got to secondary school, which is St. Louis Senior High School in Kumasi, Ghana. I had friends who were talking about being nurses, being doctors, you know, if you're in the science course, being engineers and being in the social world, the social sciences and all that. But I wanted to now be in aerospace engineering program after graduating from senior high and my friends will be like what are you doing here this is a general arts class why are you here you don't have to be here if you want to be in aerospace you have to be in a science class but i i also wanted to be in a general arts class because i just i guess i didn't know my path as at that time that was the the moment where i you know discovered this interest in media um, public speaking and just you know working on how i talk to people i have you know i have this friend she's Portia and she's currently in the media in ghana and we would we would have this fun time where we walk to people you know in class and we would try to be media personalities who have come to your school to find information from you. So we have bottles in our hands and we'd be like, hey, how you doing? My name is this. And it was fun. We'd also learn how to pronounce words, how to speak, you know, with, I guess, like speak properly and, you know, behave in front of a camera although there was no camera. It was fun. That was a time that I actually you know, discovered that I was really interested in debate, public speaking, and just, you know, talking in general. So after senior high school, I actually got into an actuarial program. And in first year in my university, um, I joined the debate club. The debate club was a club that prepares you to be part of the KNUST Debate Society, the bigger, the bigger one. So you have to go through the training for, you know, the first semester and we will do some, you know, program where you will pitch your, you will be whoever that you've been trained to be, whether you were a debater or you were a public speaker and all that. But I did have fun. That was the time that I learned how to read information for myself, read about things that, you know, other people would say, why are you reading? But I really wanted to read because our style of debate was the British way where you don't have time to prepare like the American style. You have one week, you have your topic, you choose your size and then you come and go prepare and then you come and nail it. No, it was the British style where the question is given to you right there. And for 15 minutes, you have to prepare and put your points together and pitch your point and defend your stats. So it was... It was very crucial that you know a lot of information because questions can be coming from countries that you know or you may not know so you should know literally everything if not everything have at 
little little idea about what is happening everywhere so it was very good it did help me put me in the right place to um learn and like reading things that are not really related to my academics but it was conflicting with my academic goals so at some point in time i had to drop out that was a regret that i had but i never regret you know joining the debate club it was very good um after school graduated um national service that was the time in 2019 that was the moment in my life where i had the idea of being on youtube and the content that i wanted to do was natural hair because i had freshly cut my hair i transitioned i cut my my permed hair off and i really wanted to do natural hair content you know grow with me through my natural hair journey but the question that i asked myself was are you really fit to be on youtube do you have the qualities to be on you have you seen the standards i guess the standards were too high back then as i'll see you there and i discouraged myself i did not do it that year i did not do it the following year and this year i had the opportunity to finally be in grad school in the u.s and then an idea came and the idea was why not tell people out there what is happening inside here there's a lot of information on how to get here but what happens when you get here how do people navigate their path you know their path through grad school what are some of the things that other international students go through do people fail do people struggle is it true about the finances? Is it really true about the dollars? Do you really get money? So that was that was something that got put on my heart to really talk about. And then I added the natural hair content because as a grad student and as a lady, you have to take care of your hair. You have to meet all your goals. Whether hair goals, body goals, academic goals, career goals, you know spiritual goals and all of that you need to meet them and you need to be able to have a balanced life so you're going to look at how to take care of your hair how to really achieve your goals whilst you're in grad school and whilst you are super busy with schedules and assignment deadlines and all of that so that is like the new development and by god's grace uh, god gave me ideas on how to start this channel and people to actually help me start it and then people willing to share the experiences for all of us to learn and also be informed so yeah that has been my journey so far a little bit of my journey so far into being here and talking to you um you know right now um sharing my little knowledge and having other people to share their knowledge with us so if you do like this story time you know i i titled this story time a girl just like you from the song in um bobby as a princess and the papa i am just a girl like you if there's anything on your heart on your mind that you really want to get to do it just go for it and you can do it just know that you are not limited by anything go for it and you can get it if you do like this video please give this video a thumbs up Comment down below if you like more of story times so that we come, you know, and be more personal here. Please do comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, please do. Don't, don't leave without subscribing. Please subscribe to this video and hit the post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime that I put, I post an interesting video. You never know. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.